What's going on, Optic Nation? It's Ashley or Optic Midnight bringing you another behind the scope. We got a Beast Ballista gameplay from Optic Macau, and he's gonna join me. And we're just gonna learn a little bit about him, learn some background, learn about the person uh, behind the montage or behind the scope. You see, see what we did there with that. Anyway, hi Macau. How how are you? Uh, hi. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So um, the last episode we did, we did one with Fallen. And he's from Australia. Where are you from? Um, I'm from uh, Portugal, but uh, Portugal. Yeah, I was born in uh, Macau, which is an island on China, and that's basically why my my gamer tag is Macau. Holy crap! I did not know that at all. You so you were <laughs> born like in China, and then you moved to Portugal. Yeah. And that's that's where you chill. Have you ever been to America yet? No, not yet. Do you want to? Uh, yeah, it would be uh, really nice. Yeah, it'd be cool. You, I want everybody in Optic to come to America. We have a lot of people like from around the world. Like People don't realize that. They're like, oh, you know, can I be on the Australian team? Or can I be on the PS3 team? Or, or the whatever team. It's like, it's not teams. It's everybody. Exactly. Awesome snipers from anywhere. I mean, we would have some It would be nice if uh, everyone would go to uh, an MLG event. I know, that'd be so crazy. Yeah. I know uh, a lot of the optics are going to be at MLG Anaheim if they have that this year, which I think they should. But, um, so anyway, anyway, let's let's get into, like, details. So you're from uh, Portugal. Yes. How old are you? And, I'm, like... I'm 18, uh, oh, and, um, yeah, I'm from Portugal. From Portugal, okay. So how long have you been playing Call of Duty, uh, and what got you started into, like, sniping and making montages? I guess um, what made you want to join like optic and stuff like how yeah. did you so, how did um, do that? Basically, I, I started when um, Halo 3 came out with the Xbox 360 and um, started sniping there, watching Halo videos. And um, as as Halo got you know a little bit older, uh, Call of Duty was getting bigger and bigger. And basically, at the end of MW2, uh, I got it. And um, at the beginning of Black Ops, I started to do commentaries and. Uh, Trying to be, um, you know, a person who does commentaries over gameplays with uh, the farmers, with all the red guns. And yeah. um, then I, I discovered, I don't know if you know him, uh, Sniperator on YouTube. And, yeah, um, I know him actually. Yeah, I started doing his challenges and started to sniping and that's basically how I got into sniping. That's cool. So, um, how did you like? People always want to know, uh, like, how did you get an optic? Like, that's probably one of the biggest questions you get yeah. asked, right? It's what they asked me anyway, and I've been in for years. Um, what? How exactly did you get contacted by us? Did you contact us? Like, it's not like we sit here and do open tryouts. So, how did you get like discovered? People are interested in knowing that. Yeah. So basically, for me, it was a really lucky move because. Uh, while I was doing these um, challenges from Sniper Nighter, like weekly challenges, uh, one time I m met um, V Tricky, which is now Optic A3, in a random lobby, and we started playing together there. And basically, when uh, Black Ops 2 came out, I was able to get like really lucky and get really insane clips at the beginning. And I showed him, and he showed Paul, and Paul contacted me. Yeah, I, I remember that at the beginning of Black Ops 2, because uh, Optic is not like a, it's not like we sit there and we look at you in a private match, and then we like judge you every Saturday at 3 p.m. Like it's not like yeah. that at all. Um, it's it's more about the quality of the clips, not necessarily like editing and stuff, but how awesome of stuff can you get in like certain amounts of time, or just how how much do you want to put into a project. And so, like, when we, people that are in Optic, like, when we see somebody who's just ripping it up, like, we're like, hey, look at this guy, you know, let's check him out and see if he's interested. So, um, so you haven't been in that long. You came in at the beginning of Black Ops 2. You've already put up a couple of videos, right, on Optic Nation, a couple uh, montages. Yeah, I think I already have four videos, one more coming up. How are you not look at that, you're going ham. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So are, are you, like, more into doing episodes then, or do you like to focus on, like, really big projects? Because I know the last episode when I talked to Fawn, he said that he likes to work on bigger projects and release them, you know, not as many. So do you like to do more episodes, or what's your thing? Um, I really prefer to do more episodes, you know, show people how many clips do can a person get on a short period of time. Right, like consistency and stuff. Exactly, and then when I do a big montage, it will be basically like a best of all episodes. Nice. So um, when when you got in, what was your like... What was your biggest like excitement moment? Like, what were you most excited for? Just to upload videos to Nation, or did you want to do like commentaries and stuff? Because I know uh, you said like you've been commentating. 
And you yeah. have like really good English, you know, like you just have a slight accent. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, it was it was really great to get in Optic. I remember watching your 100k in real life video. So I've been <laughs> yeah. a fan of Optic for a really long time, and uh, to be able to be part of this team is just amazing. Yeah, it it is. I mean, I've I've been in for a long time, and so it's it's just been really fun. It's like a really cool group. I think exactly. like. I think it is anyway. So, um, what do you like to do like outside of gaming? I like to ask that question because I like to find out what like our directors or whatever are, are into. So, what do you do like outside of gaming and YouTube? Um, I used to do gymnasts, do backflips and stuff. You're the one with the trampoline video, exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah. You're doing like, yo, you guys have to go check out Macau's channel. He, he's doing like, I don't even know what the trick was. It's like a 720, 10, <laughs> it's like body trick shotting. Like his, he's literally flying in the air. It's so cool. So you did like gymnast or a gymnast, gymnast. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, now I just uh, do athletics. So I competed 100 meters dash basically. Holy crap! So like kind of like a track and field type. Yeah, thing? exactly. Dang, so dang, so you're athletic, so you keep yourself like in shape outside of gaming. That's one thing that like is kind of a stereotype with gamers. They think, oh, you spend this much time playing video games, you're fat and lazy or whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But I think I think anybody can game and still like kind of take it more seriously because I mean, when you're making videos and stuff or recording it, like you're taking gaming a little bit more seriously than I guess the average player. Yeah. And putting more time into it, but I don't know. So, what do you like to upload on your personal channel so people can, can go check that out? Do you like to do like a lot of in real life videos, like the trampoline one, or do you just like to do um, commentaries and stuff? I, I usually do more uh, commentaries and mini touches, and I also do some uh, really funny videos because I tend to overreact when people hit clips, and uh, <laughs> I ask them to uh, send me those clips and do mini series with those, and uh, people seem to like it a lot. Yeah, I, I saw the one that you, I think you just put up, you're like screaming because somebody got like a headshot beat or something like that. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> That's cool though, that shows like, you know, it's more than just, oh, here's my clips, you know, whatever. And you actually get to learn a lot about people when you go to their personal channels and they're active. Exactly. Yeah, so um, I guess I have one more question too. I, I want to know, like, what do you think about people that are wanting to go back to other Call of Duties? Have you been playing just Black Ops 2 or have you been checking out past Call of Duties? Because I've noticed some montage makers going back to old Call of Duties already. And, and what I just want to know what you think about that. Yeah, I actually thought about this today. Um, I will stick with Black Ops 2 mainly because this is the, the best Black Ops that I met at the moment. And... Um, People tend to go back to other Call of Duties because like they, they've been playing those for so long that yeah. now they are so good at it and can get crazy, crazy clips. But I only started on Black Ops 1 uh, in the middle of it, so... Uh, oh wow, so you're, you're like a late bloomer in Call yeah, of Duty, kind of. Yeah, exactly. So if I would go back, it would be to uh, MW3, but I, I didn't quite do well on that game. And Black Ops One, it's real. Uh, Black Ops Two, it's really the game that I, I'm really good at at the that moment. You just like spent the most time on, would you say? Exactly. Yeah, I I mean I've been playing Call of Duty since COD Four, and the thought of going back to it is just kind of like I would do it maybe like once, out of like a couple of months. But I don't. I mean I don't know how people. I remember being so bored of Modern Warfare Three and just wanting the next game to come out and. I don't want to go back to it. I don't see <laughs> exactly. myself being like, this is a great idea. I'm going to go back to this. Like, it's, I don't know. I mean, it'll be cool, I think, I think in the, over the summer, as when we get closer to summer, people will want to be doing more multi-cod tages, and mm -hmm. people seem to really like those because it shows variety. But, I don't know, I think, I think the Black Ops 2 sniping is amazing. It's, it's people don't really, really like it sometimes because of all the other stuff that they have like the smgs or or oh, op or yeah. whatever or this is op and that and it's that easier to just go back to what you know but i'm more impressed with black ops 2 clips i guess yeah me too so uh what kind of clip did you get in this gameplay uh, i got a nice uh, yeah we passed it i think so i'm not sure uh, it was a triple headshot feed on the b flag it was really nice simple clip nice was that right? It's right here. Bam! Yeah. 
Right as we brought right. it up, the clip <laughs> happened. That's crazy. I didn't. We didn't even plan that. I just wanted to bring it up because he did get a cute little triple headshot feed. What's your fit here? That's that's those leads into my next question quite nicely before we wrap this up. Uh, what is your favorite kind of clip to get? Like, what clip do you just is like a dream clip? I guess kind of corny to say, but what do you really want to hit? Um, I, I'm not sure because the clips that I wanted to hit for this Call of Duty, I already got them. Was, uh, what's what's your favorite one? Um, I don't know. I have the DSR Silence triple headshot with one bullet. Oh. <laughs> and I <laughs> and I also have a ballista uh, quad headshot feed all singles and like enemies are coming from all different directions. Oh, so. that's yeah, that's crazy. Those are my favorite kind of watch. Like not like hard scoping a spawn, but actually like hitting your shots accurately. I remember the. The last episode you uploaded, which will be at the end of the video here, you'll be able to click it and go watch the first clip. I believe it was you. You're like switching weapons back and forth on carrier. Was that you? Uh, yeah, or yeah, am yeah. I thinking of someone else? Yeah, you're on carrier and you use like three weapons and you get like all these headshots and it's just nuts. You guys have to go watch it. Um, I like your stuff because you do have more unique clips and they're not in like regular spots, I guess you could say. So. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. The gameplay is just about finished up. Uh, if you're interested in going to see the video I just talked about, it'll be on the screen. I think on the left or right. Whichever one says player. And uh, do you have anything else you want to add before we wrap it up, Macau? Uh, not not really. Uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, go, go check out his personal channel. He does in real life stuff, commentaries, and, and funny videos. So go check him out. And keep on. You're, you're really active so far in Black Ops 2. You're going to keep that up. You're going to keep... Yes, yes, yes. I have I have a lot of stuff to do and probably will do some Halo mini touches too. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Well, I look forward to that. Thank you for coming on with me and uh, leave in the comment section who should be on next week. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace.